Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I am so excited that all of you are joining me today as I cut through the fluff and show you the features that you are actually going to care about coming to the Mac with Mac OS Monterey later this year. Let's go ahead and dive into this. The first feature I think you're gonna care about is window management. I know, it sounds really sexy. It's not as exciting as the big features that Apple talked about, like universal access that allows you to use your mouse and keyboard from your Mac with another Mac or your iPad and move in between. But not everyone has another Mac or iPad around, so it didn't make our list. We also didn't include shortcuts. Shortcuts is really cool and kind of nerdy, but not everyone out there is going to use shortcuts. But everyone uses Windows, and you can even do fun things with shortcuts, like customize your window placement. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about how window management has gotten better for just daily use. Starting off with that menu bar there at the top. With macOS Big Sur and before, if you were in a full screen app, you had to go up to the top to reveal the menu bar. It would just automatically hide whenever you were in a full screen app and you had to move your mouse all the way to the top to reveal it. It was kind of annoying, especially on big monitors. So if you ever wanted that macOS menu bar just to stay there all the time, even when in full screen apps, you're gonna be happy because macOS Monterey makes that happen. If we go into system preferences and go to that menu bar option, we have the option now to toggle off automatically hide the menu bar. Now, whenever we go back into our full screen apps, boom, yeah, our menu bar stays right where it needs to be. It's just always there for us. We can always see it, it's persistent. So if that ever bugs you, don't worry. macOS Monterey has you covered. We also got improvements to split view apps. Split view is great if you're working in two applications at the same time. Maybe I'm taking notes in Safari, so I've got notes in Safari open at the same time. Or maybe I'm creating an email and I've got like a news article and the email going at the same time. Maybe my inbox and the email that I'm creating. Whatever the case may be, split view apps are great. But Mac OS Monterey makes it even better. Now, when I've got two apps in split view, I can go ahead and click and hold on that little green icon and I can see I can replace an app. So if I'm working with Safari and Mail, I can go up there, hold on that, switch it to something else, and pop it into another app. It's very easy to do, so I can swap between any apps that I have open. It's super quick and super handy, and takes a lot of the kind of resizing out of it when going between different split view applications. Before we continue this video and talk about the other features that I know you're gonna love, I gotta thank our sponsor, Setapp. These days there's an app for pretty much everything, and Setapp brings a bunch of them to one place. It's the best way to discover new quality apps and get all the tools that you need to be successful and productive. It is the best way to find new and quality apps, to find the tools to help you be productive on both Mac and iPhone. Setup has over 200 apps in a single monthly subscription, so you can search and find the most effective app for the task that you need. Setup is on a mission to help users get more done. With Setup, there's no more worrying about having to search for apps to solve a problem. A dedicated curation team picks only trusted app developers to ensure you get the highest quality apps at your disposal. It is also a seriously great value. For that one monthly fee, $9.99, you get access to all of these apps as long as you're a subscriber. So just pay $9.99 a month and you have access to over 200 apps and more apps are added regularly. I get so excited when a new notification comes in and tells me that a new app has been added to setup. I immediately click into it and check out what it is. It's awesome to see new apps added all for that single monthly price. All these apps too, they're not like watered down light versions or something like that. They're all the full version of the apps, full pro apps at your disposal and updates are always free. If you guys wanna try it out for yourself, go ahead. There's a link down below to get started. It is $9.99 a month, but you can start for a week free and you get access to all the apps as long as you're a subscriber. Thank you again to Setup for sponsoring this video. I love Safari. It's always been my browser of choice since I've been using a Mac. I don't use Chrome because I like to have battery life on my portable machines. But if you use Safari, you're gonna be pretty excited about the changes coming in Mac OS Monterey. I got a big visual overhaul this year that looks so much cleaner and more modern. I really like the changes that Apple implemented. We can see the new rounded tap designs and just this universal bar at the top with Smart Search that looks great. And I love how it can adopt the color of the pages that you're on. So if I go here and I'm looking at Apple Insider, you can see the menu bar has adopted that dark blue Apple Insider color. If I go to other tabs, more Apple Insider, Apple Insider, go to YouTube, it's now white to match the YouTube page. Going to Apple, it's also white. But if I go to iPhone, 
uh, an iPhone 12 Pro, I can actually see like the Apple's mini site is all black and it adopts that same black color in the menu bar. I love how everything feels more cohesive and like the menu bar is part of the page versus just a completely separate entity. And of course, if you don't like the menu bar changing color, you can toggle that off in settings. Now, there's other changes in Safari 2 that I really appreciate. Apple beefed up its intelligent tracking prevention. Apple introduced ITP in previous versions of macOS, but with the new macOS Monterey and Safari, it gets even more powerful and is able to stop websites from profiling you based on your IP address. And Apple added something cool called group tabs. These tab groups allow you to really jump between things. So it's handy if you want to go and separate yourself from work versus personal. I can have my work tabs open during the day that have things like all of my research and articles and video stuff, all of that going on. But I can also have other tabs for relaxing or for finances. I can just easily jump between all those tab groups and keep everything organized so things don't get quite so out of control. And tab groups will sync across all of your Apple devices like iPhone and iPad. Possibly my favorite new feature coming to macOS Monterey, I can't even demo for you yet, and that's SharePlay. SharePlay allows you to have a FaceTime call and share your content with somebody else. Whether you're listening to music in Apple Music, whether you're playing a game from Apple Arcade, or whether you're watching something in the TV app, you can now do all that together. You can even share your screen. It's so handy, I mean, you can use it for troubleshooting or just relaxing and having fun. It may work here great on your Mac on your desk, or you've got a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, and you're sitting out in the quad at college, and you want to be able to FaceTime and watch something out in the sun. You can do all of those things thanks to SharePlay. It's super cool, and I just love how Apple is bringing all of us together thanks to the Mac and iOS and iPadOS. It's a lot of changes coming, and while I can't demo it to you yet, it's going to be really cool once it does arrive. Speaking of sharing, how about AirPlay? You can now use your Mac as an AirPlay receiver. So before, your Mac could AirPlay to AirPlay speakers or AirPlay devices. So I could cast my video or audio from my Mac over to my Apple TV. Uh, or I could go to my HomePod, whatever. But now, the Mac can be used as a receiver for AirPlay. Couple examples of that, of why I think it's so cool. Uh, maybe you're in an office environment and you got your Mac hooked up to the projector and you got your presentation you've been working on. You can just cast it from there up to your Mac and then put it on the projector super easy to do. Or maybe you have a large screen, like a 24 inch or a 27 inch iMac, and you've got a video you wanna show people. Well, instead of just showing it on your phone screen, even a 12 Pro Max, you can just cast it up to your computer and take advantage of that much bigger screen. Or, and this may be my favorite and most use case, music. This Mac right here, the 24 inch iMac, has some pretty great sounding uh, Dolby Atmos enabled speakers. I mean, spatial audio, everything, these sound great. So why would I be listening to music on my iPhone? I can just cast it to my MacBook Air, my MacBook Pro, my iMac, any of those, and take advantage of the much better and bigger sounding speakers on the Mac. Let's talk about Notes. Notes got a bunch of new features, but the one, one that I wanna really focus on in this video that I think you guys are gonna care about most is Quick Notes. Quick Notes got more attention on the iPad than it did on the Mac, but seriously, it may be even better. So wherever you are, whether you're reading an article in the news app or maybe you're just here in Safari and you want to be able to take a note quickly, like there's something you thought of or something relevant to what you're reading, whatever it may be, you want to be able to take a note. Well, I can just go to that lower right hand corner and boom, I have a new note sheet. I can just click and make a note. You can also invoke this with a keyboard command or from a shortcut. Once I create the note, I can go ahead and jot down what I was thinking there. Like maybe I really like these Hunter Douglas shades and I wanna make sure I look at them later. So I can take my note, I can also go ahead and attach a link. It knows where I'm at, so if I hit the link button, it's gonna pull up the page that I'm currently reading. And boom, I just created a note with Quick Note. Now, what's really cool, this is gets where it gets even better, is say I'm just looking through the internet or whatever and I come back to this page and I was like looking like, what was I thinking when I read this? Oh look, my note appears in the lower right hand corner. It's contextually aware, so whenever you visit it again, there it is. So whether it's my PowerView, Hunter Douglas PowerView, HomeKit enabled shades review that I had some notes on when I was reading it, or maybe I was reading an article and I took some, took some notes down stuff that I wanted to look up later. Whenever I go back to it, I get my note again. So it knows where I'm at and that I might need that note again. It's super handy. I just love, love, love this feature. And if you wanna get back to your notes at any time, just open up the notes app and we can go right there. And yeah, there are all of my quick notes that I've created just in one place. Now, this iMac right here, brand new, brand new 24 inch iMac. If 
but over time, you're probably gonna replace your machine. Now, if you ever wanted to get rid of your machine for it, you had to like erase your drive, reinstall macOS, and all of this stuff. But on iPhone and iPad, Apple always made it easy. Heck, even on Apple TV. But with the new macOS Monterey, it's now one click to go ahead and erase all content and settings on your Mac and prepare it, whether you're gonna hand it down to another family member or sell it on eBay. So if we just go here and open up System Preferences, and I go up to the menu bar, there's a new option to erase all content and settings. That's it. That's how easy it is to get your Mac prepared to sell or give away whatever it is you're gonna do with it. But it's so much easier to actually repurpose a Mac now without having to do anything fancy. Finally, let's talk about low power mode. It's finally coming to the Mac. Now if I go to the battery icon in my menu bar there, I can click on it and I can go down to those battery system preferences and right there, I have a new toggle box for low power mode. I can turn that on and now I'll save some battery life. Now it doesn't make much sense here on my iMac, but if I'm on my MacBook Air, yeah, it totally makes sense and it's super handy to be able to get extra battery life out of my portable Mac. Hopefully, in the future, Apple brings us to Control Center. It's not, right, it's not there right yet, but we'll see. This is an early beta, so we'll see how things develop as Apple approaches release of macOS Monterey. So that's it. Those are my favorite new features that I think you guys are going to care about most, like ones that make a difference day-to-day -day in the usability of your machine and new features that you can unlock. There's still so much more to love with macOS Monterey, so be sure to stay tuned to Apple Insider. Check out Sat App again, detailed below in the description. Let me know what your favorite feature is over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.